So much of the regular season is the hard work you put in and team chemistry you build during the offseason. Tech Volleyball and Soccer took that belief to heart this week, bringing in a U.S. Army veteran and world-renowned motivational speaker, team builder Mark Trebus. We have got to fight with each other now. You ladies ready to go? Mm -hmm. yes. I'm talking, you ready to go? Yes! Follow me, slow job. Here we go. We love to build big teams. Today was really just like a gift. Um, teams are born and forged out of shared hardship. We love to kind of bring an essence to a team where they find their soul, um, and where it just lights them up. And they learn to serve, serve a cause greater than self versus focusing on each individual. So it's the whole idea is team is so much more important than an individual. Yeah, yeah. Get ready! We were all pretty nervous. You know, you hear about these rangers, these army rangers coming in and like, and then we got here and it was just so amazing. He, uh, you know, he told us his story. It was really emotional and we just got like fired up. I think any time you take a military example, you know, the stakes are higher. And so the absolute necessity of leaning on each other, relying on each other, A, having your teammates back, but B, knowing your teammate has your back, for those guys, it's life or death. So there's no bigger example of how important it is. No team that you will play will make it this hard. I felt like the volleyball and soccer teams get it. They know what it means to come together like a team. It's all about the basics. Um, we get too fancy sometimes when we start thinking about teams. Um, attitude. It's the only thing we can control. I work with teams, I think the most important thing I try to share with them is we have a choice. We can choose positive, we can choose negative. We can choose positive to serve a cause greater than self, or we can choose negative and focus on our own selfish individual needs. You can have the most skilled team in the world, and, but that's not what makes a champion. Champions always do more! You know what makes a champion is you know, teamwork. It's, we don't play like an individual sport. We have to work for each other. I think the heart and soul of any team is the emotion and the peer appreciation that they receive from each other. So one thing that I try to teach is through shared hardship and the, the necessity to rely on the woman or the man to your left or right, that relationship is forged, forged in, in trust and the human emotion that is exchanged. And I say that the opposite of fear of an athlete is love. Um, and the more we can love, trust, and respect the athlete to our left and our right, the more dangerous and deadly we're going to be when we're out there on the plane. We learned some great lessons today. If the girls live them out and walk them, and then when the freshmen come in, they say, hey, by the way, freshmen, here's our culture. Be a part of it. These are the things that make the difference between the 30th best team in the country and the 10th, or the number two team in the country and the champion. You know, a big, big 12 finish last year in the top four was fine. Uh, but we'd like to do better than that this year. Oh, yeah.